I want to try a new show. Are we down for a new show? The show, it, it's an Irish dating show um, called Take Me Out. The, the premise of the show, I haven't watched a ton of it, but I was recommended by Jordan and Anastasia. Uh, there's, it's like there's 30 suitors. I think it's the season's 30 women. I don't know if it always is. Um, and then there's different dudes who come up and actually I'll just let the show explain itself, but it, it's, it seems good. Did Scott Kramer talk about it too? Damn, am I the last person of the show? Oh, he did a video on it. Maybe there's a, like, I want to make sure I'm watching one of the unhinged seasons. Yes, good evening, and welcome to a brand new series of Take Me Out. Once again, I've been called upon to do my duty for my country, for Ireland, for the men of Ireland, and of course the women of Ireland. For 30 women in particular, it's time to bring on the girls! <laughs> Neutral cactus, thank you. Oh yeah, actually the uh the vod or this the this show this show has to be like have some budget because they they license some pretty big songs. I'm just gonna skip past the DMCA. Friday night, it's TV three. It's Take Me Out. Hi, girls. Uh, let's have a chat with some of our single ladies, get to know them a little bit better. Hi, Maraid. Welcome to the show. Hi, Ray. How are you? I'm okay. You're only okay? I'm great, actually. Oh, you're great. Okay. Yeah. You're great and single. Yes. Uh, but we're going to do something about that. Tell us about your ideal man, Maraid. Uh, my ideal man would be somebody with a sense of... Oh, you say the English version's better than the Irish version? Well, let's start with the Irish version. Humour, a nice guy, no bad boys. Um, has to be a bit sporty and also not like fashion more than I do. Not like fashion more no. than you do, okay. And, and on a scale of one to ten, how much do you like fashion? Uh, about a ten and a half. A ten and a half? Yeah. That's a lot, Maraid. Oh, okay, wow. I'll see what a I can do for you. Hi, Rachel. Welcome to Take Me Out. Ciao, Ray. Ciao, Ray. Yeah, so there's, <laughs> so there's 30 people here, and then a guy is going to come out, and then he's going to awkwardly talk about himself. He's going to like give some information and then when people are like not into it, they'll hit their button and be out of it like the voice but in reverse. Um and then if there's like enough leftover people, then he can choose one to like go on a date with. Oh yeah. Uh, where are you from, Rita? It's like Tinder I'm rejection in person. I'm born in yeah. Ireland right. with Italian parents, so okay. I haven't got much of an accent. No, well, you don't, well, you don't have an Italian. No. I mean, you, you speak Italian. I do speak Italian fluently. How, how do you say, if you're feeling nothing, hit that button in Italian? If you're feeling nothing, hit that button. Se non ti piace, non toccare. Se non ti piace, canto il multi bellissimo. Cinquecento. Si. I'll do my best to find you a man, Rita. Julie, welcome to Take Me Out. How are you? Hi, Ray. Where are you from, Julie? <laughs> I'm from Dublin originally, living in Leash. You're living in Leash? Yeah, lovely All Leash. All right, up the Leash massive. Exactly. Um, uh, how long have you been living in Leash? Um, my parents have been living there six years, so I've only been there six months. Six months? All right, okay. And um, tell us, do you have any brothers or sisters, Julie? I do. There's five of us all together. I'm Four. the eldest. Okay. Um, and I have one sister. She's standing here beside me. Oh, my God! We've got sisters on the show! Yeah. They're going to gang up on me. Uh, Maeve, welcome to the show. Thanks, Bobby. Uh, you tell me about what Julie's... What, who's I, Julie's ideal man? You. Me? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, she but, hasn't stopped talking about you. Yeah, well, you know what they say about that? Yeah. Should have gone to Specsavers. Uh, <laughs> Maeve, uh, Julie, rather, tell us about Maeve's ideal man. Um, Maeve likes kind of people from boy bands. P people oh, from boy bands. people yeah, from boy bands. Like Gary Barlow or... Any of the Westlife lads. Oh, okay. He's a big boy band fan. West Does he have Life. to be a singer to impress? Um, I don't think it's his singing she's interested in. Oh, really? Yeah. It's his other yeah. talents? Yeah, exactly. Well, we'll, we'll see how we get on tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our girls. Oh, it's very awkward. It's very awkward. And I think it only gets more awkward. I've heard it gets very, very awkward. 
All right, guys, here's how it works. Each girl has a light on in front of her. When our boy comes through that door, he'll have three chances to impress. If the girls don't like what they see, they'll turn their lights off. If they like what they see, they'll keep their lights turned on. Now, for example, if I was to say, if it gets cold at night, we could both snuggle up under my ridiculous hair. And we lose a few of our girls. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued as to whether the rest of them <laughs> left their lights on. Uh, if I did go on Take Me Out, I'd probably be kicked off for misbehaviour. And we lose a few more of our ladies. I see where this is going. I, I finally reveal I'm Frankie Cocosa. And it's a total blackout and Frankie is disqualified. That's how it works. Lights back on, ladies. OK, girls, now it's time to play for real. Are you ready for your first man? That's more like it. Don't forget. Is Echo a part of the show? Is it echoing? Listen to the music our boys walk on to because they've chosen it for themselves, and it might tell you a little bit more about our boys. If you're ready, so I have no hard, idea who Frankie Kakuza is. Okay, yeah, now they're gonna. To our ladies. Dude, the the freaking the the freaking sample or not samples the licenses that they're using. The show, Come sir. on. Introduce yourself to our ladies. Hello, ladies. My name is Sean, and I'm from Dublin. Yeah, I should just mute it. Literally, somebody was like, "All right, you're from Dublin, and I can see you from 20 feet away." Nah. So people keep saying early 2000s. This particular season is from 2013, just to set the stage. Oh God, just the one, Sean. How are you? I didn't, closer, I didn't you? even see that. You didn't even see that coming, no. Uh, one girl gone. We've got 29 on. That's pretty good, isn't it? It's not bad. Nice one. You stay there. Let's it's have a not chat. bad. Shahira. Ara here, Shahira. Oh, no, normally not that mean. No, you're lovely. It's it's only the it's cow's lick lovely. that I don't like. It's what? The cow's lick? The cow, the fringe. <laughs> If you just got rid of that, you'd be fine. <laughs> it's the f you don't like and that's, of course, something you cannot change about yourself. And so I'm out. It's just, just his, his hair is the problem. Are you it's sure just... you know what a calf's look is? Cause... Well, do you know this thing? <laughs> My fringe? Yeah, your fringe. Uh, otherwise, you're lovely. Thank you. And cute. He's lovely and cute, but, you know, really, just his fringe. We, we, we had to get rid of him. We're never going to work <laughs> it's out. deal breaker there. Uh, loads of these lights left on, though. Tasha, you're still in. I am indeed. Now, his runners are a bit dirty. You could have given him an old wipe now before you came on, in fairness. But Damn. he looks like he might be hiding something nice under that jumper, though, in fairness, doesn't he, girls? Yeah. <laughs> Melanie. Oh, dear. You're in. Well, I didn't like the song, but I'll leave it on for the accent. You'll leave it on for the accent. <laughs> Mel Melanie, your accent, where are you from? San Francisco. Oh, right. Oh. Right. right. Yes. Uh, what is it you're looking for in a bloke? Um, some Wait, so she's like, I'm I'm here for the accent. It's like, aren't they all going to have Irish accents? It is an Irish show. It's a little bit strange about him. I want him to be really smart, but a little bit wacky. Okay. Like, on verging on um, a little bit insane. A little bit insane? What? Yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, you're definitely on the right show. <laughs> Chantel, you're still in. He has the Jedward brows. <laughs> <laughs> he has what? The Jedward eyebrows. All oh, right, okay. Is that, a, is that a compliment? No, that's a good thing. All right, okay. He's Jedward. A night. Oh, Edward. I <laughs> the caption saw it. She said, "He's got the Jedward eyebrows." What? He's <laughs> a vampire at night. He's a vampire at night. Okay. He's a vampire at night. <laughs> Arita. Yes. San Francisco is in California. Yes, she's from California. You like what you see. He has potential. Why is she here then? Well, sometimes people live in like other countries. It could be scrubbed up well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe you'll be giving him a bath later on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Sean, 29 girls left. 29 yes. ladies interested in you. That's a fantastic result. What will the girls think after they see these ladies? If you're feeling nothing, hit that button. Sean, is it really If you're feeling nothing, he's nothing. like the daddy of the house. I've got to work on my Irish he's, accent. He's absolutely great, Louis. He's one of the lads like when he needs to be, you know? And when the girls are having a meltdown, he's always kind of there for them. It, Jedward is an Irish boy band. So why did she say vampires afterward? As well, you know, so... Are they vampire boy... Is, are they a vampire boy band? Well, like, that's good with me, like... Well, you went over to Japan. I, I didn't really hear much about it, apart from what I'd seen on Facebook. Only that, like, I knew he was over there. I knew he was kind of... Jedward, Jacob, and Edward. Uh, that makes more sense to me. There for the earthquake and all that. So he literally had to be evacuated, like... When Sean talks... Oh, I was like, what is that sound? And then I realized it was people being like, nah, these, these people's family and friends and roommates suck. Definitely, this is the awesome too. Just go across. You 
just because it's our Irish accent, it just sounds like he's talking French. I think he'd probably just have the crack pretty much so he could have all his mates laughing. <laughs> yeah, that kind of way. Like. All right, nice one. Who were those people? They were my roommates. Your roommates? Okay, yeah, so they know mates. you pretty well, yeah? Yeah, they know me pretty well, yeah. They got me down to a T, mostly. They seem to like you, don't they? Well, some of the girls here don't seem to agree. Well, some, well, some, well, they, they turned 17 girls off, actually, during that round. Oh Let's God. see what it was that they said that the girls didn't like. Katrina, what happened? What did they say? Uh, that he's mad for the girls or something like that. Was well, it? Well, if he's you mad know, for the girl, girls, I assume, Sean, <laughs> you're, you're only going to be mad for one girl. <laughs> he's like, they said he's like into like going on a show where he has to like meet 30 girls at once and i'm not into that hopefully so hopefully yeah well, the hairstyles are something else dude well, i'm i only want to be the one you know what I mean? you want to be the, 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 yeah. the one so it wasn't going to work out for no. you um leanne what happened i just keep pitching his eyebrows on the telly on the ads you know the eyebrow ads where they just keep me up and up and down <laughs> I just keep picturing the eyebrows. They can be I fixed. I just keep picturing the eyebrows. I've looked them. Okay. No, <laughs> that's, that's good. Michelle, what happened? I thought he kind of looks like a hippie. <laughs> I, I want him. I want him. Uh, like, he's no red hair. I want a red head. Oh, of course. You, Michelle, yeah. you're, you're looking for a ginger. I want a ginger, yeah. Yeah. So it, it, Michelle's chasing a ginger. I'm in the minority. <laughs> well, well, you are, actually. Oh, I know. Because most of the girls, especially last year, they were like, ginger, no way, I'm not interested. Oh, my God. This is such a mean show. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, you're chasing. Give them all to me. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, listen. We'll, we'll find one. Of it's like a weirdly horny show, too. First of all, let me see how it goes. All right, Sean. Twelve girls left. Oh, sorry. Oh, just left oh me. yeah. And and then they sometimes do a poem or sing a song. There. Uh, Twelve girls left with one more chance. So it's gonna get girls. even Sean, more awkward. Four for us. Uh, girls, are you getting that sinking feeling, or will he float your boat? Good luck, man. <laughs> She grabs a yellow bottle. She likes the way it hits her lips. Oh. She goes to the bottom, sends her on a trip. So this is Justin Timberlake. All right. Hope, hope Might be coming, coming home, home with me tonight. tonight. Dude. 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 Blackout, dude. Also, what, what, is that love stoned? By Justin Timberlake on Future Sex Love Sounds. I'm so sorry, man. Looks like she's, she's not got me like love stone, and, and I swear she's bad, and she knows. Danielle, I think that well, she right. knows. Um, I don't like the music he's singing. <laughs> uh, what? 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 He, he didn't even have a chance to get into the chorus. What were you singing for us, man? It was a Justin Timberlake song. Oh, of course, yeah. I'm just not into guitars. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Emma Marie, you were in, and he had the guitar out, he was... I, I love guitar, I sing and I play the guitar myself, but you were beating the guitar like it was doing something to you. You're beating, <laughs> you're GT beating the guitar arm, like you're doing something to you? And I just don't like you? anyone butchering his songs. Not that you butchered just, it, but I don't like anyone singing it, I mean, Don't like anyone butchering it. Butchering no, so she's saying he was butchering it. <laughs> she's trying not to offend. <laughs> oh, Tasha, <laughs> what happened? Oh, well, I love musicians, men who are good with their hands, you know what I mean? Fresh lights, um, where to cause it I just, you can't sing. <laughs> You know. <laughs> <laughs> but fair play to him now. Right, fair play to him. Yeah, I do think he made a good effort, didn't wow, he? Give him a round wow, of applause. Wow. Wow. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I can just say I'm sorry. There you go. Shut up. No. Poor guy. But I mean, he. See, here's the thing. He didn't have to sing. He could have just done a poem or something, which I, I saw in the other episode I watched. So, like, he went for it. And I honestly, you know, kudos for going for it. Oh, God, these songs. I'm trying to figure out what went wrong. I'm a little bit good at all. I guess I need to start no, just hitting in. More superficial, so... If I'm not what they're into, then I guess they're not what I'm into either, so I'm not too down about it. So it's okay. All right, guys, it's time for a break. We'll be right back after this. Sorry. 
Oh my god, dude. This that's how you know this saw this this uh the show is big. Cause just listen to all of these like Look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Alright. I just can't. Sir, introduce yourself to our girls. Hi, ladies. My name's Simon. I'm from Donegal and I'm living in Dublin. Donegal. Simon from Donegal, ladies, are you turned on or turned off? Oh, oh, poor guy. 11 gone, 19 remains. Simon, that's not too bad. How are no, you, sir? That's not too bad. I'm grand. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going alright. Well, I'm, I'm grand. Are you nervous? I'm not too bad now. No, you're all right, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty nervous, Simon, but they're a scary bunch. Uh, Shahira, you turned off your light. Tell us why. Again. Dude, Shahira. He's always picking on Shahira. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure. He's just not my general type. What do you tell us about your general type? What is it? He doesn't look like a bad boy. I, oh. like, I like the image of a bad boy, but they have to be nice guys. Okay, right. He looks like a nice guy. He looks lovely. He, he's the opposite. He looks like, yeah. he looks he looks like, like a nice really guy. Nice guy. <laughs> but he probably, is, he probably is a bad boy. Yeah. He could be. So he could be. Right. You never know now, Shahira. I'm sorry. <laughs> Melanie, why did you turn off your lights? He was so timid coming out. I need someone a little more... You know, well, it's a scary okay. place to step out onto You're in front right. of you. 30 beautiful women in front of me. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, why wouldn't you be nervous? Exactly, Simon. <laughs> or let's see. Lights out. Oh God, I don't know, Ray. Ray, seriously, does that look like Bruce Willis to you? Okay. I asked for Bruce Willis. <laughs> if you're looking Please. for Bruce like, Willis, you're on the wrong show. Or looks like, oh, where is Bruce Willis? Like it, Where's Ray, Bruce? Okay, fair enough, Orla. Let's see uh, what happened over here. Rachel, what happened? Oh, come on, Rachel, you flipped <laughs> off your light again. I don't know. I like the tune. The outfit's nice, but you, no offense, but you seem a bit old for me. <laughs> and you see, yeah, I, you seem a bit timid as well. So why do good girls well, so like bad guys? Yeah. But loads of lights left on. Maraid, your light is on. Yeah, I love the Donegal <laughs> accent, and you're living in Dublin. Y'all are rude in the I'm comments. From, so or I'm in definitely the chat. still interested for the moment. Oh, look at good. Still interested Tasha, you've left your light moment. on first as well. For the moment. Did I? Yeah. No, I wouldn't judge. Hello, brother. Yeah, Dude, he's again, sweating. He does look like his mother tucked his shirt in for him, in fairness. Oh, but like his mother <laughs> he hasn't said anything yet, so we'll wait and see. Well, if his mother tucked his shirt in for him, you could untuck it for him, couldn't you? <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, does anybody know what the host name is? I've missed it every time he said it. Lights on, sir. 19 ladies still interested as we head into round two. What will the girls think after they have a look at this? Girls, if he is Mr. Right, leave on that light. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's always got a rhyme. Yeah, I like to keep active. Ray Foley. Uh, work Ray Foley. Ray Foley. When I was younger, and I developed into being lifeguard. Did all the lifeguard oh, training. Oh no, and he's I, just like not super charismatic, which is like you know not gonna. Like I feel like that's what a lot of people are gonna judge against him. You know, it's it's like doesn't I don't know. This is the type of show that that's not gonna fly with. I imagine. I went on to work in the pool as a lifeguard with supervision in there as well. I suppose I'm looking for somebody that's friendly. I stand corrected. Everybody's chilling. Maybe we can go and have a bit of fun. Not only just head night, have a night out, but we can go off and do things. And hopefully, somebody will be interested in some of the same stuff as me. But if she has other activities, I'd be more than willing to get involved in other sports or other activities that she might be have an interest in. So. All right. Give her a round of applause. Nine lights gone. Ten girls left. No pads. You stay there, Simon. Let yep. me go and talk to the girls. Katrina, we lost you. What did he say there that you didn't like? I'm afraid of water. I can't swim. Oh. Well, maybe he could rescue you. <laughs> this is... I know, but I didn't think of that. Like... Well, he's the perfect man, surely. <laughs> she seems genuinely distressed. She's like, I didn't think of the fact that he could rescue me. I just don't know how to swim. No, but he's like, that's his... He does the thing where he does the lifeguarding. But if yeah, you're afraid of water. I'm afraid, so like, he'd probably always want to go for a swim and I'd be just like, sorry, forget <laughs> the boat, like. <laughs> Dude, this, boat as well. this is awesome. <laughs> I can go on that. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, still 10 lights on though. Linda, you left yours shining. <laughs> oh, <it seems laughs> She's like, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Your proximity to water is too much for me. Nice guy, not my usual type, a bit too clean cut for me, but like he has his own things going on. He can go swimming and I can do my own things. Well, so. exactly, yeah, yeah, you can look after yourself. Uh, Thank you, uh, Spooky. Thank you, Attack on Smosh. I need to just knock these out. I've been bad. Uh, Cat Dixon, thank you. Videl Satan, uh, Videl Satan. Um, thank, uh, thank you for the bits. Uh, Rockhead, thank you for the prime. Trey Dog, thank you for the tier one. Grandor Politics, thank you for the tier one. And French Jew 62, thank you for the prime. Lights on for you as well. Yeah, I really love swimming and, and water. Java, well, Java from, Jules, Michelle? thank you for that. Uh, I'm from California. I, I'm from California. Yes. So the, the Baywatch music was... was Multiple was Californians. California Baywatch, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, it, right, okay. it could be your own Mitch Buchanan. <laughs> All right, Simon, 10 girls left as we head into our third and final round. One more chance to stay in the third, game. It's time to go flirty for 30. Final. Ladies, is he the one that you want or the one that you want? Good luck, sir. I'm generous. Ladies, best okay. way I can describe myself is I'm fun, friendly, loyal, and generous. I'm passionate about food, and I love cooking. I'm working in marketing at the moment, but I also work as a beach safe coach. Oh, no! Dude! Oh, you're mid talk and you just hear people go. Bum, 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 bum. He, I thought he was doing so good, and then they were just like, "I was like, dude, he's generous, he's loving, he's gonna cook for me." And then he's like, "I'm doing marketing right now," and they're like, "He wasn't even committing to marketing. He was like, I'm doing marketing right now, but if you don't like that, I can do something else." Food, and I love cooking. I'm working in marketing at the moment, but I also work as a big side coach. Uh, <laughs> I'm sporty, I enjoy swimming, surf life saving, ultimate frisbee, and boating. <laughs> I, like, I love the sea, so if you feel that you've been drowning in a sea of men tonight, I'm your man, I'm here to rescue you. There is one person left, and it's this girl from uh, California. Uh, Melba Toast 13, thank you. Oh my god! Michelle, you're going on a date. Yeah. Off you go. Oh, no. Michelle, you're going on a date. Yeah. Uh, so what was it that one... Michelle, you're going on a date. Yeah. Off you go. Uh, so what was it that one, one him over for you? It was the lifeguard, was it? Yeah, yeah. He can hold his breath and go down for a long time. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> Why? Why are they so horny? Why is this show so horny? For what reason? <laughs> On their way to shifters, yeah. <laughs> now they get to go to shifters. <laughs> Lads, well, enjoy yourself, Simon. Uh, on your day tonight, we're sending you to one of the most happening places in town. It just happens to be a kip. It's shifters! Shifters! Oh. Yes, so then now they go to they go to shifters. Where is shifters? We'll find out. I just I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. Where are you from? From Where? California. Oh, all right. Are you here long? Uh, yeah. For uh, two and a half years. Oh, not too bad. But... I kept my lie down for time. That's that's shifters. That table, I think. <laughs> I think that table. Because he's a lifeguard, so I'm sure he's good at giving mouth to mouth. You seem pretty nice. Seems like a great girl. Hopefully we can get on well now. Whoa, this guy's name last name is McGarrigal? That's a that's a name. And we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, I believe Shifters is uh just that table. We got a day after the break. We're gonna strike up a few more matches. See you in three. <laughs> <laughs> Mick Gurgle, these nuts. Got him. <laughs> oh. I know she did say that already. Our new series when Baywatch boy Simon and California girl Michelle got together. Don't hold your breath, but I think they're gone to their happy place. Uh, that means we've got a brand new girl. Say hello, everybody, to Joe! <laughs> Joe, 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 welcome to Hi, the show. How are you? I I'm fine, how are you? Good, thanks. A little birdie tells me, Good Joe, thanks. that thanks. on a previous date, you went, you went on the date in Dublin, 
But you ended up in Donegal. Yeah, Bundoran. It, you know, it was Bundoran. a long date. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a long date. Yeah. What, what, How far away are Dublin and Donegal? Is it that bad? Some, so Irish, Irish chatters help me. We just run away from him. It was just very random. We just decided here, let's just go to Bundoran. So we did. So you went to Bundoran? Yeah, we just Where did it start out of interest? Uh, Temple Bar. And te oh, yeah. that explains it. And Temple Bar is that bad. <laughs> that you have to go as far away as possible. Uh, Joe, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Joe. All right, it's time to meet our next man. Are you ready, ladies? Yeah. Strike up the band and bring on the boy. Come on now. Prince? All right, so we got this guy. Here comes the boy. Here comes the boy. Oh, my goodness gracious. The show, sir. Introduce yourself to the girls. Hello, girls. I'm Jeff, and I'm from Dublin. Yeah. Uh, du Dublin to Donegal is three hours. Jeff from Dublin, ladies, are you turned on or turned off? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did he make that sound? <laughs> Elon Musk X Drax. Jeff from Dublin, ladies, are you turned on or Jeff, turned off? Jeff from Dublin, oh, let's see it. The sound is so funny. Still 16 lights remaining. Jeff, welcome to the show. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, Can good. yeah. yeah. Uh, we lost 14, but 16 lights still shining. You like what you see? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go and talk to some yeah, of the ladies the and see what they're thinking. Chantelle, what happened? You killed that light on us. I don't mean to be cruel to rule your words, but I don't want your extra time or your kisses. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I need to hear that again. I'm bad at listening. To be cruel. What cruel? they're thinking. Chantelle, what happened? You killed that light on us. I don't mean to be cruel to rule your words, but I don't want your extra time or your kisses. Oh, okay. I only got a little bit of what she said. She says she doesn't want to be cruel, but... But... <laughs> Someone said he sounded like a Minecraft villager. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no! I feel so bad. This is like classic Ameri- This is like Americans be like. What they're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> why is this making me laugh? Someone said she's speaking enchantment table. Oh, why am I laughing at the Minecraft jokes? <laughs> Tell what happened. You killed that light on us. I don't mean to be cruel to rule your words, but I don't want your extra time or your kisses. Oh, okay. <laughs> Michelle, what happened? Well, Ray, like Prince, I too <laughs> want to party like it's 1999, but it doesn't look wild enough for me. Oh, he doesn't look wild enough. No. Emma, lights out. Look, you do look lovely, but um, his feet look okay. a bit small as well. I like big feet. Are <laughs> <laughs> you size nine? Yeah, I think size nine's a pretty... I like it bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Size nine. Yeah, I think size nine's a pretty. I like it bigger than that. <laughs> I like it bigger than that. <laughs> Dude, the chat is so wrong for this. Somebody said that's Elon Musk's Elon Musk's villain origin story. Okay, Jeff. Sixteen girls left. Sixteen okay. lights still on for you. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah. All okay, right. yeah. We're, we're, we're settling into it now. We're yeah. we're a little bit less nervous. Uh, how many lights, Jeff, will you have on? in the next 30 seconds. It's called Flirty for 30. Ladies, is he bugging you or will he be hugging you? Hi girls, first of all, you all look stunning tonight. Um, as a retail manager and ladies fashion boutique chain. Okay, retail manager, ladies fashion boutique chain. How many does he lose? Are we gonna get pew 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 pew? Or is it just gonna be like pew pew? I know what women want and that's a big discount. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh, well, to describe myself, the best way to describe myself is that I'm fun, spontaneous, and always up for a laugh as well. And um, uh, I'd love to meet someone who likes going out, but also who likes memorable nights in. Girls, I'd like to try something new, and um, the thing I'd like to try new is uh, coming on here tonight and... All right. Oh, 15 <laughs> lights gone, man. No, it's all right. Listen, don't worry about it. We still got another light on. We still got another chance. You're going to sing a song for us? Well, remember... Oh, it's the other American, right? Melanie, if you want more of the same, stay in the game.
Oh no. I'm nervous. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. Oh no. She couldn't she Her face smile on your Just face. Like, Look at Let's you know that you Oh, she's she's like I can't I can't I'm sorry I'm sorry. There's a truth in your eyes. It's gone. It's gone, man. Uh, it's a black house. Yeah. Give him a round black of applause, house. will you? <laughs> uh, need I ask what happened? I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Apparently the show is Australian originally. Good to know. Good to know. I love a guy that can sing to me, but um, if that was going to happen all the time, I don't know if I could deal with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, I'm really sorry. Give him a round of applause, would you? Yep. Come on. Give him a round. There you go, pal. Yeah, there are other low-risk talents. I agree. It's such a huge swing. Okay. <laughs> Oh gosh, I just keep missing the the there's so much DMCA in here. Holy cow. Oh. The girls probably just didn't like the retail and that's where I thought I lost them. Okay, I think we just Jeff found out that the girls don't want a guy dressing them with his eyes. So let's have another man. Let's get busy and bring on the boy. <laughs> Bring on the boy! Oh my god. I. We just gotta have to. Welcome to the show, sir. Introduce yourself to our ladies. Hi, uh, ladies. My name's Jimmy. I'm originally from London, but I live in Dublin. All right. Why does he sim Why does he look 27 and 13? Hi, uh, ladies. My name's Jimmy. I'm originally. You know what I mean? He looks like. Originally from London, but I live in Dublin. He looks like, uh. Uh, what's his face from like the kid from St Toy Story, the evil, the bad kid from Toy Story? Uh, <laughs> Sid. <laughs> All right. That's Jimmy, ladies. You turned on or turned off? <laughs> Oh, all right. 16 lights out, Jimmy. Welcome to the show, sir. How are you? I'm grand. You good? Feeling confident? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm, lights yeah. Off there. And How tall is Roy? Question mark. Uh, because he has been taller than all the dudes. And a few left on. You stay here. Let me go and talk to the girls who turned off their lights. Leanne, what happened? Um, it's just... I'm looking for like a man with a. Oh, I didn't realize he lost so many people. Bit of muscle, and something to grab onto. Like I just think he's a lovely lad, but he's quite thin. I'm looking for a big man. A big. Stocky. A big muscly man to okay. lift me up. <laughs> Fair enough, Maggie. Lights out. Yeah, where are you from, London? Southeast. Oh, well, I'm from Hertfordshire, but um, no, I need someone just, you know, to look good next to me and just, I don't know, I love going to England and London because the boys have such good style and he just got lost when he came over, I don't know. He wasn't stylish enough for no. you? No. Uh, loads of lights. They didn't, uh, they could be nicer, right, with how they say this stuff, like, they're like, oh my god, I need someone to look good next to me. <laughs> uh, Lunar Unknown, thank you for the tier one. Uh, though, Katrina... Two months, thank you. Katrina, you're still in. Wait, Ray is 6'3.5? I think he's real cute. Like, his dress sense, like, you can change that. My ex was a little spicer, and I changed that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Linda, lights on. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of my brother, which is bored. No, 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 that's a bad thing. But he seems nice. I like the accent, and, you know. Give him a chance. Yeah, exactly. Don't be too harsh. Don't rush into anything yet. Aww. Jimmy, 14 girls left, 14 lights on. We've got another round to go. Let's do this thing. 
Will the girls be impressed in 30 seconds? It's flirty for 30. Girls, if you're feeling nothing, hit that button. <laughs> so how are you, ladies? As you know, my name's Jimmy. I moved over from London six months ago to live with my dad. I've been looking for him for 14 years. And since being here, he's what? been back on the track of music. I used to sing for as long as I could. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone else is going to sing. I can remember. But since being here, I've started learning guitar. So I can guarantee any girl that comes on a date with me, we can make sweet music together. And he lost no one on that. I, I thought that when he said, I came here to live with my dad, people were going to be like, eh, 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 pew, 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 pew. And then he was going to be like, I've been looking for him for 14 years. And they'd be like, wait a second, what? But he lost nobody? Oh, there, so well done. You didn't lose a single light there, which That's is a the result. You stay he, has been the, he has been the best speaker so far. I agree with that. You're right there. Let me go and talk to the girls. Joe, what's the story? You left your light on. Mm, yeah, I wasn't really listening to what he was saying, but like his accent kind of had me. Oh, really? <laughs> so I have no it's idea so, what he just said. It, it's so funny that even in Europe, the like British accent has sway. <laughs> it's an accent, is it? it yeah, it's kind of oh, hot. Mm. It's kind of hot. That's all right. Uh, Naomi, you left your light on as well. Well, he's from London. He's not the usual Dubliner, so, you know, give him a go. You know, you, you, you've experienced with Dublin boys more so, uh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Um, All right, okay. So, maybe a, a little maybe. bit of London. Maybe, maybe. Do you watch EastEnders? I do, yeah. You do? Well, mm. you, you, can actually, you can speak the language then as well. Oop. There enough. we go. Chancel? He had me at the accent. You're absolutely perfect. <laughs> you had me at the accent. Yeah, really, you had me at the really accent. You're absolutely perfect. Everyone's going, oh my god, it's lovely. <laughs> You're absolutely <laughs> perfect. Shahira, you left your light on as well. She wrote that round. Yeah, I love the Bob Marley song. <laughs> is from I love his accent and I love that he sings. And you love that well. We, we don't know. Well, he says he sings. Well, he's a, he's we'll, a music, musician. Well, well, he's into the music, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> his accent is doing so much work right now. Or a little bit later. How much do people in Dublin despise Dubliners that everybody's like, I just love his accent? Later on. Hey, Marie, lights on. You play guitar, I play guitar, you can change my G-string anytime. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keep it clean. Uh, <laughs> What will the girls think after your next performance, Jimmy? You've got 13 lights on. Ladies, if okay. he's Mr. Right, leave on Okay, that he's got a Let's microphone. Why did they make the the buzzer sound so funny? <laughs> they made it <laughs> They made it so funny to hear <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> it's like they're they're like in a TIE fighter and they're like trying to shoot him down with 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 buzzers. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I have to watch that again. I'm out of touch. <laughs> no, you know what's funny? This this woman, she's open-minded. He's like, here it goes. He hits one bad note. Dude, she's she lost. Yeah, he started out of key. He really did. Lights out, Jimmy. Um, awesome, Ayana. Thank you for the prime. Michelle, thank you for the prime. Where those lights went? Chance they have got to stop singing, dude. Well, there you I'm are. I'm sorry, but you butchered that song, and I really like that song, even though he's ginger. You butchered that song for me. I'm so sorry. You're really nice, lad, though. Sorry. I'm oh, so you flicked, sorry. You flicked off your light there as well. Was, was yeah, I think that's note? the only thing that'll be flicking in any way, Ray, because that kind of really just killed it for me. She's like, and also you're not Bruce Willis. <laughs> and Joe, we lost you during the song. He was out of touch and out of key. Oh, so, he oh, was. He me. was okay. out of touch. And Ola. I love that song. Like my landlords for like, like three to five years. Like uh, I lived on top of an Irish pub in San Francisco, and 
I still can't do an Irish accent that well. My landlords were Irish and I still can't do it. Really, really, really love that song. And I think that kind of just ruined it a little bit for me. Sorry. My landlords were Irish. My land, my landlords, they were Irish and I still can't do an Irish. I still can't speak in an Irish accent. Accent. I, I don't know. It's, it's, I gotta work on it. Oh, she's got, she's got high standards, high singing standards. Rachel, we lost you there as well. Like you seem really nice and stuff, but people singing, even if they're good, kind of makes me cringe and it wasn't great. Oh, he was only 19. My voice went from underneath me. But the night is young, and you missed out. Welcome back. Before the break, Jimmy found out it isn't easy being single, and his Lego house came crashing down. So, ladies, this is your last chance tonight. If you're ready, let's bring on the ball. How are you doing? My name is David, and I'm from Kerry. Yeah. <laughs> David from Kerry, ladies, are you turned on or turned off? Oh! Hey, he oh, did well. Oh, whoa! You say there are two <laughs> lights gone. Sister, sister! <laughs> are you gonna have to get that again? Wait, is that a reference to the American show, Sister, Sister? That he just sang the. Sister, or is there another sister sister? Let's get that again. <laughs> Hang on, let me see what happened there. Maeve, you killed Julie's light. <laughs> no, he's mine. She's not having him. No. So you're you're killing out the competition? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Julie, you were leaving your light on. I was gonna give you a chance to leave my light on. Because I'm Go a on. dub. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you do end up going out oh, with this one, it again, sir. you're going to have nothing but trouble Well, if you bring her one. out, if you don't get on with her, I'll go out. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's all right, Lovely isn't it? Lovely <laughs> uh, Okay, loads of lights left on, though, Dave. Uh, nothing to worry about. Um, they're all on over here. Katrina, lights on? He's a tank, isn't he? He's a tank. You want to be a tank. I was just like... <laughs> this is incredible boring. You don't have to be here, person. I'm, I'm sorry that it's boring. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> What is y'all's problem today, dude? Seriously. Massive. Oh, okay. He's a massive tank. It looks, yeah. it looks like we're rolling out to battle, sir. Mairead, you left your light on. Yes, I did. He's absolutely gorgeous. And a Kerry man as well, which is practically my second home. Uh, my grandparents were there, and um, I spent many a summer down in Chile, so maybe we could uh, visit from, the Chile, beach. Yeah. That's where I'm from, Chile. Like, oh. yeah. I could bring you out to Fina Pier. Fina, yes. But it, my friend owns a yacht. We'll play the game first, though, lads, OK? Um, <laughs> OK. So that means wrong, though. Well done, David. 28 girls left, 28 ladies still interested. Uh, nice one. What will the girls think after they see this? Remember, ladies, if you're feeling that passion, keep that light flashing. Take a look. <laughs> Right, let's see. I've known David since I was about six. He just lives back the road from me. So we went through the same schools, went to college together, played football together. So we know, I know him pretty well. He used to play football for Kerry all the way up underage. So he's Kerry minor, Kerry, Kerry on 21, Kerry junior. Uh, played for the Ireland under 17, it's national rules team. So football is all, all about his life. So yeah, he's good, good with the ladies. He's a bit of a charmer. He treats women well. Like he's all about having the crack. You know, he's looking for women who are a bit spontaneous, who are up for laugh. You always see him on the dance floor dancing. Wait, well, I don't understand what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's a player. <laughs> and, uh... Over here between Julie and Maeve. <laughs> stay there for me. You stay, you stay there. Yeah, well, well, I can't turn it It's gone. That is so not fair. Your sister clearly doesn't approve. If I'm not having him, she's not having him. She's not having him either. <laughs> which chance. means he's down to one of the other ladies. That's not fair. Well, hang on. You turned off her light. Yeah, exactly. Deal with it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Chantel, lights out. I am raging. He's a footballer, everything I wanted. But he lives in Kerry. I live in Dublin. It's miles away. And then it, it girls is. in the pictures, I'm just not into I need me by our side 24 7. Maggie, come on, talk to me. Why did we lose you there? I don't understand a word he says. I don't even know where Kerry is. So, well, you're just not going to work. But, you know, there's a, there's a train and, you know, they, or, or you get on the bus, the bus driver does all the work, and get, he gets you there. It's a fire. Know? What? It's a fire. Is it fire? No, it's not that fire, is it? Uh, four drive. Three and a half hours. That's basically it. I don't know what he said. <laughs> Three and a half hours. It's all right, Matthew. We've still got loads of lights on. Uh, Maraid, your light is still flashing. Great, out with the friends, really sociable. Can I ask what the gun thing was about, though? Well, I was, uh, I was, I was in Thailand. I was at a gun range. Do you know? I was taking. Were you two shooting? Shots. Were you shooting anything? Oh no, just targets. Okay. I don't shoot anything else. <laughs> no animals. No, 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 okay. no, I'm, no. Tasha. He's even sexy as a priest. <laughs> <laughs> and those gar shorts, ladies, come on now. <laughs> Oh, my God, you're going to have to do something really bad in round three for me to turn off my light. <laughs> OK, well, we'll see how he gets on. David, 12 girls left. One more round. Let's do this thing. One more chance to impress. It's called Flirty for 30. 30 seconds to impress <coughs> our remaining 12 girls. Ladies, is he tragic or could he be magic? I wonder if they'll ever repeat rhymes. All right, ladies, I'm very easy going. I'm very outgoing as well. I love playing sports, but I also like relaxing, going to the cinema, eating out. I'm looking for a girl with a great personality. Oh, when he said eating out, I thought he said eating out. Like, eating oats. <laughs> Man, that's funny. But I also like relaxing, going to the cinema, eating out. I'm looking for a girl with a great personality. Like Timberland, I like you just the way you are. Not for, for who you think you are, <laughs> or who you think you might be. Dude, like the great philosopher Timberland once said. Timberland once said. You can always act yourself, but be yourself for only. Ladies. <laughs> there you go, 30 seconds, time up. Okay. We ran out of time. Six lights remaining. That means you've definitely got a date tonight, first of all. <laughs> now, David, the power's in your hands. <laughs> Get out there and turn off four lights for me. Audience, what do you think? Who should he take out tonight? <laughs> Who should he take two shifters? <laughs> Kill four lights, please, David. Four lights have got to go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kill one more light for me, please, David. Okay. Kill two more lights for me, please, David. Two have got to go. Two lights for me. Oh, David's light staying on. Oh. Okay. Oh, Damn. He's gone. And one more light. <laughs> See what happens when you don't sing on this show. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? No, it's not. No. You left on Neve and Maraid's <coughs> lights. Uh, why'd you leave those two lights on? They're fabulous. They're gorgeous looking, the two of them, like, do you know? I'd say they can be themselves, like, do you know, no, no matter where they are, like, do you know? Very... I mean, they're, they're like, uh, <laughs> their they're personality is brilliant, like. Yeah, natural. So, I, I, they're natural, like, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. unfakeable. Genuine ladies. OK. Uh, and, and, and they're not bad to look at either, man, so that's uh, all right. Uh, Neve and Maraid, you have to choose between both of our ladies because there can be only one for your date tonight, unfortunately. I'll give you a chance to find out a little bit more <laughs> this about guy's both neck of them. Is I'll give you one question. Away you go. Right, ladies, I've been very, uh, let's say, cursed with injuries over the last few years. If I was ever to get injured again, how would you take care of me? Oh, OK. Uh, I love her nervous smile. It's very, it's adorable. Freedom for an injury. She's like, oh. What would you do, Neve? Um, well, I've been described uh, many times in the past as a bit of a Florence Nightingale, and I'm very sporty myself, so I've dealt with a good few injuries. I've got a few slip discs and uh, dodgy ankles, but uh, so I'm well used to treating injuries, and uh, I'm also a botanist and a uh, surfer, so Whoa. being a botanist, I can get you some like med a medicinal kind of plant. Uh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Board, and then being a, being a surfer, I can maybe bring you out for a bit of a swim, a bit of a or and or, then afterwards. Oh, or and or, okay, nice one. Uh, Marais? Um, well, actually, I'm a nurse, so um, I'd be well equipped to look after yeah. any injuries that you might get. Oh, okay, she's a professional. Uh, so we've got a dealer or a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing, I'm messing. 
Uh, it's a toughie between Neve and Maraid. Uh, I need you to make your final decision. Before you do, I should tell you that one of our girls once lost her bikini bottoms in a public pool. Um, <laughs> I'll leave that to your imagination. We'll find out who it was in a second. Get out there, turn one off and take one out. Audience, on his day tonight. <laughs> one girl to go. <laughs> The girls really came dressed, but the guys didn't try. Yeah, the guys were in like, they all are in like the same outfit. It's it's pretty much. Yeah, it's Marine, everybody. <laughs> well, the nurse. Yes. So any injuries he has, you'll refer him to the correct medical professional. Of course. And you, you'll call the emergency services. <laughs> 911, isn't it? What? what? 911. Wait, why did she say 911? She's not from America. And I can tell you that Mar it was Maraid who lost her bikini bottoms. Uh, you found them since though, didn't you? <laughs> I did, yeah. You did, thank God. Right, okay. Just in case you're running a swim around. She has like a pretty Irish name. I... Uh, lads, why would she say 911? Your and you're going to be dancing until the cows come home. Did the, the impact of American culture. That's because the farmer needs... <laughs> would you look at this? <laughs> Or is it 911 anywhere else? They're going to be dancing to the cows come home because the farmer who owns the place. Yeah, I was going to say, is it just media? Yeah. Needs the old barn back during the day. It's shift. Yeah, I mean, I figure. I figure American media is just like everywhere. I think the show's fun. I want to watch more of the show. Sorry if I got in a like a annoying mood at the end. Yeah, I'm really glad I left my light on. I'm absolutely over the moon, aesthetic. That's me smashing girl. And that's all we've got time for tonight. We matched up Simon and Michelle. And yeah, I guess an Irish name doesn't mean that she's Irish, but like she also had an Irish accent and I thought was from like Dublin. Wait, where does it say she's from? I'm absolutely over the moon. Yeah, she's from Dublin. That's 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 more the that's more what I what I, I thought she was Irish. Moon, aesthetic. That's me smashing girl. And that's all we've got time for tonight. We matched up Simon and Michelle and David and Marie. And if you want to find out how they got on, tune in next week. And of course, we'll have at least 30 other good reasons to tune in. I'll take me out. All right, that was interesting. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Thanks for sticking around for a new show. Hopefully this, you know, we can watch something new. Just, like, want to switch it up a little bit.